Hey, hey guys, um, welcome to uh, my new Nuzlocke, it's a uh, Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke, and uh, yeah, this is kind of upsetting me, because, um, alright, first of all, I've already made two major mistakes, as you can see there, I didn't, um, didn't choose to uh, delete my old save file, because I thought you could overwrite save files in this game, which you can't, and second of all, I forgot to turn on my microphone recording. So, now I'm going back over the first episode, and it's very annoying, because I had to go back and redo this entire thing. First of all, I had to go back and redo the thing to catch all the Pokemon that I had in And then I also had to go back and record my voice now, so it's like an extra hour of just nothing that I didn't have to do, that I could have avoided. So, yeah, I'm stupid. So, um... Yeah, there's this one. You asked me about yourself. So, uh, my boy or girl, of course. This is gonna be a difficult question for me. I'm not sure, but I think I'm a boy. So I'm gonna choose that. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, so what's my name? My name is Hunter, of course. And, uh, by the way, you're gonna be able to see my, uh, mouse down there. Because, for some reason, it looks screwed up. I don't know if you can tell it looks screwed up or not. But, uh, for some reason this, uh, Camtasia has this, like, mouse effect on it, and I can't take it off, and it's really annoying, so, uh, either I'll be able to take it off and you won't really notice anything bad, or it's gonna look really crappy, but, whatever. So, yeah, Barry, over there, that guy, I always name him Roy, so, yeah, people call him, like, Dildo and Asshead and whatever, but, yeah, I, I just call this guy Roy, so. Roy, is it? Is that your friend's name? Yes, it is. So, uh, yeah, alright, Hunter, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless stuff and Pokemon and crap. You will discover a lot of stuff, and perhaps even something that go on. Okay. Alright, now I'm shrinking down, becoming an elf. Alright, so it's uh, talking about uh, them trying to find Red Gyarados, so, you know. That's cool. Oh, and uh, I think, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up if you like my layout. This is a, a new layout that I've made. And uh, it's really simple, but I think it looks nice. So, yeah, see you next week, same time, same channel. I have a Wii in my room and a bed and a computer, so, and a pretty nice sized TV. So, you know, I mean, it's okay. I mean, I'd rather have an Xbox, but, you know. So, I'm gonna turn the stereo to mono, back to stereo again, and I'm back to mono. There we go. Changed my frame tab a few times because I couldn't decide, so I was like, whatever. I'll keep looking through them. So I looked through them for a minute, and I kept looking through them, and I kept looking through them, and I was like, oh, I kind of like that one. I was like, nope, never mind, that one looks dumb. I was like, I like that one. Never mind, I don't like that one. So I keep going, keep going, until I find one I like. Right there. Nope, right there. Nope, yep, right there. Bam. And then I forgot to press confirm. So I had to go back and redo all this. So I'll uh, turn that slow and accent back to fast, turn that to mono, and find that frame type. Yeah, so I just changed it to type 8 instead of 3, because I thought that was the one I was looking at, but apparently it wasn't. So uh, my mom's going to be like, what's up, bro? How are you doing? So uh, Hunter, Roy came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, because he said it was an emergency. I'm sure something terrible has come up. But as you can tell, yeah, I don't know, it's not too laggy or anything, but, um, you'll be able to see some, uh, like, distortion on the player that I can't really change because it's, uh, I don't know, it's just a bug with, um, bug with, uh, NOS GBA. Some people say no cache GBA, but I say NOS GBA because the cache sign looks like a NOS. So, yeah. Alright, so, hey, Hunter, I'm going to like you can too and be quick about it. Okay, Hunter, I'm finding a million poke dogs too late. Right. Roy. Okay, whatever. Oh jeez, forgot something. Oh my god. Alright, Roy. Jeez. Roy is just insanely insane. So there's Roy's mom sitting there saying she wonders when her new chat when her child's new medication will come in. Better take my bag and journal too. Oh no. Oh Hunter, you caught me masturbating on that computer. Oh no, ten million poke dollars now if you're late. Okay, whatever. Alright, Roy. I don't even care what you say. It's ten million poke dollars I'm not going to pay. Wow, I'm like a rapper. Okay. Uh, wow, that round too. Wow, I'm just all over the place today. Alright, so, gonna go up here, Route 201. There's Roy. 
Oh my god, oh my god, hey, you saw the news for on TV, right, 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 searching the Red Gyarados, mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon on a lake, yeah, yeah, I like that one, yeah, that show got me thinking, you know, it's very, I bet that local lake has Pokemon like that in there too, so what's we gonna do, we're gonna find Pokemon like that, okay, let's go, so yeah, he's kinda hyper, and he talks really fast, you know, so, I'm like, what's up, Roy, Verity Lake Front, here we are, so, uh, I actually didn't catch Pokemon here in this episode, so I might go back and do that, but I think the only thing I can catch are Bidus and Starlies. So I might just wait for a while so I can go catch, like, uh, Mesprit or whatever. Here, I think Mesprit's the one here. He's also my favorite out of all those three light psychic legendaries. Hmm, may have been mistaken. Someone appears to be different than before, but fine. It's enough that we have seen the lake. Dawn, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying back in Sinnoh? Oh, yeah, you've been away for four years. There are many grand rare Pokemon. Blah blah blah, the professor's talking to Don up there, and they left their suitcase, how weird. Excuse me, let's pass, please. That must be the suitcase with one million dollars in it. I'm gonna win the game show. Uh, so, yeah, Roy's like, what was that about? Those two. Oh, let's go check this out. They left their suitcase. Oh my gosh, what's that? Don't go to the tall grass. No problem, no problem. We won't be there long enough for a while Pokemon to come out. Trust me. I have ADHD, I know these things. A briefcase, a briefcase, people forget to get it. Whoops, whoops. Oh no, Starlies. Whoa, Pokemon, what's going on? So, uh, yeah, pick your first Pokemon here. Um, let's see, all these Pokeballs. So, uh, I've picked Piplup my first time through, and then I picked Chimchar my second time through, and I never picked Turtwig because I've only played it twice. So, Turtwig it is. So, come at me, Starly. I have a Turtwig. And he is a grass leaf turtle thing. So, I'm gonna tackle you with him. Starly's gonna use Growl, but that doesn't even matter because I have a Turtwig. So, Turtwig's gonna tackle the crap out of this Starly. And. Oh, sorry about my yawning. Just gonna keep tackling that Starly. Just gotta kill the entire thing. Come on, tackle, tackle, tackle. Kill the Starly. Starly has to die. Kill it. Killify it. Chuck Norris it. Chuck Norris rape it. Come on, Turbic. What are you doing, bro? Man, I thought I was gonna kill it here. But it did. Never mind. I was thinking of a different battle where I thought I was gonna kill it and it didn't, so. Alright, so Turtwig gained some experience. Nice. And there we go. Roy, wow, your Turtwig is totally awesome. My chip is way better than yours, but they're all good. So we can use them though, they don't mind, will they? Don. Oh, there's a briefcase. Professor would have been furious if I lost it. He was going to hit me. Oh no. Oh no. Did you use the Pokemon? Oh my god. The Professor's going to hit me again. This is not good. I better take the briefcase. I bet those Pokeballs had drugs in them, Roy. What was that about? I don't know what's going on. Hunter, let's get out of here. The Pokemon got hurt from the battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. Roy, they were level 2 Starly. Are you kidding? How did you get hurt from that? That was like the easiest battle of all time. You go ahead, I know we have to return the Pokemon there in the but I want to spend a little more time with this guy. Okay, Roy, whatever you say. So, uh, I actually like the starters in this generation a lot. How, um, they counteract with each other, such as, um, I picked Turtwig, so when it fully evolves, he'll have an Infernape, Roy will, and I'll have, uh, Torterra, but Torterra is grass and ground, so ground will be super effective against fire, so that I still have something to counteract him with, so... It's not like just, oh, you just get killed because his starter's better than yours. It's e equal. You both have something to protect him to the other. So I think that's really cool. So there's no, like, unfairness of the starters. And he's wanted to plug him back, Hunter, we should go home too. So, um, he says we should go home. So my mom's in the kitchen, of course, when I teleport into my house with my magic voodoo. And uh, my mom's, like, sitting on her chair there. And she's like, what's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Roy are unharmed? She talks to me. Who says, am I ever glad that you are unharmed? Uh, professor, blah blah blah, studies on his Pokemon, and I think you need to visit him in Sam Jim Town. Don't worry, he'll understand. Oh, I know, put these on. So I got me some running shoes so I can run fast now. So I can run really fast, and run faster, and fast run, and quick run, and run fast. So I'll put on the Olympic sh uh, running shoes, not Olympic shoes. Yes, I could be in the Olympics, but whatever. So I'm gonna run up now. No, no, all the way. Gotta go to the professor's house, but instead I'm running in circles, I guess. So, uh, yeah, um, it doesn't, I don't think I have Pokeballs yet. Let me check. Uh, no, I don't. Alright, so, um, this doesn't count if I encounter a Pokemon here. So, it doesn't count until I get Pokeballs when I encounter. 
so yeah, so this is a Bidoof right here, and I'm like, thank god it doesn't count yet, because I would have raped that Bidoof, I would not have captured it. So, turret wig, you go, and tag on it. There you go. There you go, turret wig. I'm gonna check my recording time here, sorry. Sorry about that, I had to check how long I was. It was 10 minutes then, so... For some reason I thought it would go when I clicked on it, and it didn't, so... So, turret wig tackled it again. And the doof tackled me. And turret wig tackled the doof. There you go. So as you can tell, there's a little bit of a glitchy with, like, um... Glitch... Glitch with, uh... The battling. In the battle, you can see, like, how it's, like, uh multiple uh, layers of images like moving so it looks like a Pokemon moves like how the old image stays there so it looks a bit stretched but uh, it's fine so it, it happens on everybody's computer so I'm not the only one having to do thought Roy you need to stop running outside and hitting people you really need to go take your medication alright so what was that your friend sure seems to be impatient no he just has ADHD so you know don't make fun of him alright so here's my, is it my grandpa? I don't know if Don's Rowan's granddaughter or whatever, but uh, yeah, seems to be rather fond of you, so I'll give you that turt wig. Now that's yours, you'd like to give it a nickname. Hell yeah. I'm gonna name this fellow Lionel, because it sounds like a great name, but first I was thinking of the name and I wasn't sure, so I'll have to wait for a minute while I think of the name. I was like, what should I name it? And then I was like, Lionel. Yeah, I don't know why. It has the word lion in it, and he is not a lion, but I think it's a good name, so I'm gonna him Lionel. So there we go. Hmm, I see you're happy with that new name? Yes, your friend Roy told me what happened to the lake. I hear you battled very well, despite it being the first time. From what I can see, it's a growing bond, and I trust you with Turtwig. Blah blah. So I'm glad you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to uh, murder you for it. Um, that's kind of strange, Don. Kind of, you don't murder people. What's your problem? Erherm. There's something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. Alright, you already addressed that, I don't care. And uh, he wants he wants to give me a Pokédex and tell me to uh, catch Pokémon. And I'll be like, sure, but I'm not actually supposed to, you know, because I have too much swag to catch Pokémon. Not really, that was a joke. So, uh, she gives me a Pokédex, she has a Pokédex too, and, um, so there are countless Pokémon in the world, many skills out there, now go, your current adventure begins now. Pokemon I used for the first time was a Piplop. She would have chosen Piplop, but I'd be the same Pokemon as you. Anyways, I'm Don. I have a professor and a page to Pokemon. So instance, I'm just like you. Blah, blah, blah. I clicked on these way too fast. <laughs> like, I am having a really hard time reading these. I feel like I'm talking so much. Okay, Hunter, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience as you, blah, blah, blah. She's gonna show me, like, the Pokemon Center and the Pokemart, so... Yeah, it's kind of useless. You know, it's kind of like, yep, I realize what a Pokemon Center is, and I realize what a Pokemon is, so... Great. Alright, so don't let it bother me. Alright, cool. Oh, that's right, Hunter. Not the need to let your family know you're helping the with Pokedex, you may be far away. So go heal up your Pokemon Center, at Poke Center and go show your mom that you're leaving. So I'm like, okay, I will do that. I will leave now to go tell my mother. So I quickly run as fast as I can. And I'm like, do I have Pokeballs now? I'm like, no. Dang it. Why won't they give me Pokeballs? So, uh, gonna run down, jump down this little ledge here, and go to the left. Yeah. Continue upward over the ledge so I don't encounter uh, Pokemon. And for some reason it was just lagging right there for a second, but yeah. So, back in Twinleaf, gonna go inside my house here and talk to my mom. Welcome home, you and your Pokemon help you take a quick rest. So first she lets me rest my Pokemon for some reason, and then she asks me what Professor Roland asked me to do, so it's kind of weird, I don't know. Oh dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know. I've got something that I find useful. So she gives me a journal. So I'm like, really? That's useful? You should give me, like, Pokeballs. That would actually help me. But, uh, you know. Yeah, I have a Pokemon with me, so, you know, whatever. So, uh, here we go. And now, uh, Roy's mom is gonna run inside. Ta-da! Excuse me, is my little Roy here? No, no, he's not. Oh, he must have left already. What to do? If that boy shouted about going on adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. It's his medication. Won't you, Hunter? Oh, really? You'll do that for me? Please take this to Roy. So, I got the parcel of Roy's medication to take to him. So, you know. Bye, Hunter. Blah, blah, blah. Knowing my boy, he probably heads straight to Jubilee City. 
Okay, please take that to Roy. Alright, cool. So, now that I have Roy's medication, I'll have to get it to him as fast as possible before he destroys some tiny birds or something. You know, Roy stuff. Alright, so here's a little Starly. That's cool. But I don't have any dang Pokeballs. Yeah, the only Pokemon I really hope to catch is a Shinx and a Starly. Because I really like those. And, I don't know, I just really like Shinx and Starly. But it'll also be useful for me to get a good water type, which I don't even think there are any good water types in this game, really. Well, there, there are good water types, you know, but... I don't know, none that I really enjoy. I can't think of a water type from this generation, which just like amazes me. But I'll probably hopefully get a float cell later or one of the uh or a Drapion or a Fogunk thing. But yeah. Getting ahead of myself. But I like those Pokemon, so I'm just gonna tell them to you. Alright, so Lionel's just gonna keep tackling this Pidgey here. Because it needs to die. And then we'll start with, so. Or not Pidgey, it was a star leaf, I'm sorry. So, Lionel's up to level 6 now, and we are going to continue on where Don will show us how to capture a Pokemon. Oh, we're going to run into some grass here. Run into a star lead. I'm either going to kill this one or I'm going to run, I don't remember. I think I kill it. Yeah, yeah this is the one where I think it's a two-hit KO, but it's not. See, I tackle it with my level 6-ness, it gets to uh, the yellow. So it draws me, so I'm like, oh, it's okay, it's just one draw. I still need a two-hit KO, right? And Turtwig just trolls the crap out of me and only gets down to the red. So, you know, it kind of upsets me. I'm like, come on, Lionel, I was counting on you. I was really counting on you, now I'm just disappointed. So, I'm gonna tackle it. Yeah, in case you guys didn't know, uh, Diamond was the first Pokemon game I had for DS. I actually got the DS just because Pokemon Diamond and Pearl came out. So I, yeah, that's the reason I got my DS, and now I have uh, this thing called a TTDS that has basically a micro SD in it, and it's like a DS card, and then I can put as many games on the micro SD as I want. So I have black, black 2, white, white 2, so silver, heart gold, diamond, pro, platinum, and all the Mario games on my one little card, which is cool because I lost my diamond version, so you know. But yeah, as I said before, I had to go back and re-record this, or not re-record, but rather re-play through this to get the save. So, um, you'll see later, I catch another Pokemon, and it's a female. And so, I went back to catch it, and it, females were so hard to find that I just gave up and caught one of the male ones that I found. So, it, uh, its name I changed to because it was a female name, and now it's a male name, so you'll see that later. It's not this Bidoof, don't worry. Dawn's gonna show me how to catch a Bidoof, really. I'm like, you can capture a Bidoof without a Pokeball. You can have one arm and a broken leg and not being able to see capture a Bidoof. Like, that's how terrible Bidoof is. But, whatever. Whatever you want, Don. That's fine. I don't really care. So, it's gonna tackle me. And I'm like, bro, do you even lift? That's not really what I said, though, because I'm gonna be stereotypical with Yushi. So, I'm gonna throw a Pokeball at it, but I have to go do something real quick. I'll be right back to recording. Sorry about that, I had to take this. Trainers have to relieve themselves sometimes. So, I got some Pokeballs and now I will get my first catch. And this will be a level 3 female Star League. Yes, female. So, I went back to replay this and I couldn't find one, so I just caught a male. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but, uh, that's the only difference really. I didn't check its nature. 
so I couldn't catch one of the same nature, but I honestly don't think that makes a big enough difference to care. So um, the only difference is really it's male. So um, whenever I caught this thing, it took me forever to name it. I ended up naming it Sarah. So um, whenever I caught the male, I changed its name to Ace. So now we have a uh, Churchwig and a Starly named Ace instead of a uh, Starly named Sarah. So that's the only difference really. So yeah, finally caught that Starly. There we go. Starly catch, awesome. Starly's a great Pokemon, I think. Staraptor looks awesome, so it, it can learn close combat, which is a great move. So it's just awesome to have. So yeah, I'm thinking, I'm like, what should I name this thing? I cannot think of a female name for Starly. Like, it's just the most like strangely unfemale Pokemon I can think of. So I'm just like, I start, I think I named it Laura at first, and then I'm like, nope, that's not a good name. I'm gonna change it. So I end up naming it uh, Sarah in the end. So that was just, you can just watch me fail at naming this thing. I think I was literally talking for like a minute and a half about what to name it. And I was like clicking on letters, I was like, no, that's not good. And I was like, alright, alright, this thing's gonna be Laura. And I was like, nope. Because I don't want a name that reminds me of a person that I know, because I think that's just weird. That's like, because that's when I'm like, no, this Pokemon doesn't remind me of that person. That's like strange. So I was just like, uh, I don't even know what to name it. And I was like, anything starts with an H? No, no, I can't think of any female names. So if I have a child, I will have issues, you know, with naming it. Be like, oh, oh no, I'm gonna name her this. No, no, just kidding. No, I'm not sure. So, you know. Alright, so I end up naming it Sarah, and I'm like, okay, Sarah the Starly. And so, uh, yeah, there we go, we have a Sarah now. Two Pokemon. So, uh, but yeah, the, I end up changing her to Ace, like I said before, so. That's the only difference. The only difference is its name, so, it's okay. And it's gender. It's gender is male now. But that's cool, because Ace is a good name, because it's like, uh, like a pilot name, I guess. Sounds like a pilot's name. So, yeah. Restore that thing to full health, please, lady. I got balls, and you know what to do with them. Yes, no, no, not that. You're disgusting, Nurse Joy. Wow. Can't believe you would do that. So, uh, now I'm heading up route to, uh, route 202 to catch my second Pokemon. And I'm hoping with all of my Ar I'm praying to Arceus that it will be a Shinx. Because I love that Shinx so much. So I run to this grass and I'm like, Shinx, 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 where's the Shinx? Oh my god, I hope I get a Shinx. Oh my god, it's a bit of. So, yeah, this is when I rage. And I'm just like, no, you're not even worth my time. I'm just gonna kill you. Because I hate Bidoofs. And then, yeah, it's just annoying. It's like, really? I had to get a Bidoof. I had to. I just asked for a Shinx. It's my favorite Pokemon. It's not, yeah, it's actually, it probably is my favorite, actually. Shinx is. Yeah, that's most likely my favorite. I see most people be like, most likely, how do you not know what your favorite Pokemon is? It's just so many good Pokemon, I can't just decide one. So, but yeah, if I had to choose, Shinx is probably my favorite. So, well, the whole Shinx line, that is. So, uh, I keep tackling this thing, and I kill it. And I'm like, dang it, there goes my catch. Because, uh, not, that, not that I really want to be doing, I mean, sure, you can use it for like HM slaving, but I was like, if I really need an HM slave, I'll go back and catch Bidoof later. I don't want one right now. So, uh, now I find a Shinx. Now I find a Shinx, of course. Now that I can't get one, I find one, and it's just upsetting. I'm just like, God, I hate you. Not, I don't hate God, you know what I mean. I'm like, God, I hate Bidoof. So, uh, yeah, don't get offended if you're not religious or if you are religious or something. I don't, I don't really care. So, uh, attack all this Shinx, and I'm like, I'm just gonna kill it, because it's upsetting me that I can't have it. Right? That's what I think. I think I can kill it. And then Lionel, for some reason, decides to miss all of his attacks. So I'm like, it's okay, he only missed one. I can still kill it, I'm three levels higher, right? Right? Tackle. I'm like, okay, two more, two more hits to KO, he won't kill me, right? So, he gets me down to eight. I'm thinking, potion. Don't have one. So I'm like, whatever, I can still kill him. So I'll use Tackle. And he's like, Tackle me first, because he's faster. So I got 6 HP left, and I'm like, okay. Of course, Lionel misses. So I, I go to use Tackle, and I accidentally click Withdraw. So he gets me down to 4 HP. I raise my defense. Alright, this is what doesn't make sense. He was doing 2 HP per attack. 
and he raised my I raised my demons and he oh wait never mind oh yeah this is the one this is the starly it gets me down to one HP and this is where it gets crazy it's just I thought mine was going to die and it was very upsetting so I was like nope can't do this can't escape tackle one HP what Am I- are you kidding me right now, Lionel? My starter? Almost dead after like a minute? Yeah, this, this is- this should be fun. So, check my recording time again, sorry. 25 minutes. So, send out Sarah to run away from Starly. There we go. So I'm escaped. And uh, yeah. I decided I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon and then I'll end the episode right after that. So, you know because it's just, yeah, that it was just crazy though, that, that entire episode. It's like insane. Yeah, I'm enjoying this Nuzlocke a lot more than um, my uh, other ones so far, kind of. I don't know. I was going to play it through Light Platinum, I said, but I decided against it because it's such a long game. It's just like Black 2, which I said I was going to play through. It would take so goddamn long to do that, so I just decided not to. So, end recording here, so I'll see you guys next time.